This one, I was gonna be like, wait a second, you didn't want to live stream your wedding, and now there's a flesh eating virus killing everybody, and now you want to live stream your wedding? <laughs> okay, fine, I'll give you some tips for live streaming. <laughs> Um, let me record another one just in case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan and I'm the lead videographer at Aperture Lane and this is a segment called Wednesday Wisdom where I share tidbits to help you have a great experience with your wedding media. So by now, the thought has probably crossed your mind on whether you should be live streaming your wedding. Most of us have been to at least one live stream in 2020 for a wedding. And, you know, we should probably talk about it because not every wedding is live streamable. The first factor to consider is, does the venue, and that could be the church, the backyard, the, the hall, does it have Wi-Fi? And does it have a fast enough speed for live streams? Preferably, you, you wanna have a cable connection, like an ethernet connection, but Wi-Fi speeds are, are good too. If it doesn't have Wi-Fi, then you'll probably have to consider paying a little bit more because your live stream technician is probably going to have to tether or use some kind of independent um, internet source. If there is no cell phone service or poor cell phone service, it's gonna be really hard to get speeds fast enough to transmit smooth video. The next thing you wanna consider is power. Generally, your photo video vendors can work without power because they usually have lots of batteries and stuff, but for live streams, usually there needs to be some kind of power, um, usually for a workstation, um, for computers, and you know different, different devices that need power and, and don't necessarily work with batteries. So that's something you wanna consider. And then the last thing you wanna consider is space. Um, if you have a tight wedding and there's not really much space, you may not be able to live stream because if you're bringing in a professional team to live stream, they're gonna need a workstation, especially if you're gonna get something where you're working with two or more cameras so that you can have more dynamic angles. They're gonna need a workstation and for different devices to, to switch and work with their computers and they won't be able to you know, have it in their laps. And, and so if you're doing like a, a regular Facebook Live or whatever, that's fine. But if you're looking for a professional live stream, these are some factors to consider because again, not every wedding is live streamable. Anyways, I hope that helps. Talk to you soon. Bye. For more tips like these, check out my wedding media guide. Link in the bio or video description.